Ağzınızı Okay. Model number five, cables and suspension bridges. Okay, please write down. Screen is visible. Screen is visible. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, model number five, cables and suspension bridges. Okay, heading the left car. Oh, sir. Okay. So now first we will discuss what are the components of the suspension bridge. And then we will discuss about the structural part. Okay, so now you can draw this. Okay, in case of cables and suspension bridges. Okay, this is your suspension cable. cable, this is suspension cable, okay, this is the main, okay, suspension cable is the main load carrying member, okay, in case of suspension bridge, it is a main load carrying element, okay, this is your supporting tower, Please draw this diagram. Supporting tower. Or you may call as pylon. Okay, this is the suspension cable and this is called as a anchor cable. Okay, suspension cable is the main load carrying element. Okay, for that supporting, supporting tower and pylon, and this for anchorage, anchoring cable. This is your roadway, or road, roadway or road. This is called as a deck slab. Layered under deck slab will be transmitted to the cable. And that will be transported to the cables that vertical cables are called as a suspenders. Or you may call as hangers. Load on deck slab. Okay, so whatever the load on this deck slab, that will be transferred through the suspenders. That will be transferred to the suspenders, or you may call it as hangers. 
you may call as hangers. Okay. So, so whatever the suspension cables are there, that will take the entire load. Okay, so whatever the load on this road, this is called as a road, whatever the loads, okay, on the deck slab or the, on the road, that will be transferred to the suspension cable, that will be transferred to the suspension cable by, through the suspenders or through the angles. Suspenders are placed at a suitable spacing and that will be transferred the load to the suspension cable, right? This is also called as anchor cable. As I told, suspenders or the hangers are closely spaced. Okay, if you see this uh, deck slab at the bottom and there is a curve, there are suspenders are placed at a suitable spacing. So it nothing but the load is in nothing but in terms of the UDL. The load is in terms of the UDL on that particular road, right? Please draw this diagram. This is huge mass of concrete. The anchor cables are connected to huge mass of concrete. or it is also called as a raft foundation. The diagram is over. Diagram is over. Just a minute, sir. Eight minutes. Okay. Okay. Suspension cables are made up of flexible material and suspension cables are only carry the tension. 
because cable is a tension member. If you are discussing the tension member, so in case of tension member, one of the type of uh, member of carrying the tension that is called as a cable. So cable is purely tension member. Cable is nothing but it is a purely tension member. So we will design this cable as a tension member. We will design this as cable as a tension member. Okay. So direct tension direct tension t is equal to whatever the stress that multiplied by the area right so direct tension t is nothing but the whatever the stress in that particular cable multiplied by the area of the cable you get the tension in that particular cable right Now, now we will discuss the again what are the elements of the suspension bridge. Wait. It is visible. Yes. Yeah. Right. So suspension bridges. So suspension bridges is the type of bridge which is built by suspending roadway. Okay, from the cables. As you can see in the diagram, this is suspension cable, this is nothing but the deck slab and these verticals are called as the suspenders, okay, which is built by the suspending the roadway from the cables attached to the master cable, okay, master cable, suspension cable, which runs above the length of the bridge or the road, okay, and they are strong and the lightweight, suspension bridges are the strong and the lightweight, right? So these are the elements of the suspension or the components of the suspension bridges. First is the main cable. First is nothing but the main cable. Okay. The cable that runs along the top of the bridge and is anchor at the ends, right? That is called as a anchor cables, right? This cable has also once built, okay, magnetic chains until it was found in cable, made up of thousands of steel wire would be much as a stronger, okay? The next is the suspender cables. These cables are also made of similar to the main cables. However, they are not the thick, these cables help the suspend the deck and are moderately made up from the steels, right? That is suspender, vertical cables. Then the deck slab, the deck is the main area of the bridges where, where the vehicles and the people travel. That is called as a deck slab, right? This part of bridge is made up of multiple steel trusses and is the span of the bridge. Then the tower, that is vertical supports. Okay. The towers are where the cables attach to create the perfect parabolic shape with the next tower in order to create the strongest hold. Right? So vertical towers are there. The chavarthi tumche cables round hotai. One end is hinge, other is your roller support. Right? Like that. This anchor cable, this is suspension cables. These are nothing but the towers. Okay, then tower foundation. It is a part of the tower rest. That is nothing but the raft or the made up of the concrete. This can be either on the ground or even below the water. 
Okay, below the water foundation require a lot more time and the effort. And anchors, anchors were the main cables attached at the end of the bridges, right? And the anchors can be created with the rock if, or if there is no strong enough rock, the foundation can be made up of the concrete. So these are nothing but your components of the, again, suspension bridges, suspender cables, main cable or suspension cable, the vertical that is called as towers, main cable, deck slab, main cable anchorage. Okay, and this is a tower foundation. So we have to design the cable. Okay, what is the shape of cable? What is the length of the cable? etc. that we have to consider. Okay, this again the main components of suspension bridges. Pylon or the tower, then anchorage, suspenders, and the main cable or the suspension cable. Wait. One minute. Okay. Now, nowadays, these are the pioneers in the bridge technology, that is suspension bridge. If you can see the Bandra Valley Singh ceiling bridge in Mumbai, okay, that is suspension bridge. So of all the bridge type which is used today, the suspension bridges allows for the longest span, okay, ranging from 2,000 to 7,000 feet, right? That is a, allows the longest span. So this type of bridge has the cables, cables, suspenders between towers and the cables support the vertical suspender cables, right? This type of bridge has the cable suspended between towers and the cable support vertical suspender cables that carry the weight of the deck below. Okay, so whatever the deck slab is there, suspenders are there, they are connected to the suspension cables, suspension cables are passing through the towers, right? Passing through the towers and on another side, it will anchor. Okay, so, carry the weight of the deck below. So whatever the load on this, that will be transferred through the suspenders to the suspension cable. Okay, whatever the load on the deck, deck slab, okay, due to the vehicle moving, etc., that will carry by the suspenders and suspenders will transfer the load to the suspension cable. This arrangement allows the deck to be level, okay, or to arc upward for additional clearance. The suspension cables are anchored at each end of the bridge. Okay, the suspension cables <coughs> are anchored at each end of the bridge and they are ideal for covering busy waterways. So this is general about the suspension bridges. So again, the terms, more terms, side span, this is your side span. The segment between two pylons. Pylons is nothing but the vertical supports, towers. Okay, segment between the two pylons at the ends of the bridge. That is nothing but the side span. Then center span. Okay, this is called a center span. 
the segment between two pylons or the two towers at the center of the bridge is called as a center span is called as a center span the next is a side pylon okay at the end of the bridge this is called as a side pylon okay so towers like vertical construction okay towers like a vertical construction situated at the side situated at the side and which is usually supporting the cables of the suspension bridges so this is called as your anchor cables this is called as your anchor cables right so tower like vertical construction at the side at the side usually supporting the cables of the suspension bridges that is called as a side pylon or the side tower next is the foundation of the pylon foundation of the pylon okay so very durable lower part of the tower okay this is called as a foundation this is called as a foundation of the pylon or the foundation of tower okay very durable lower part of the tower okay next is the suspenders okay so whatever the vertical cables are there which are connected to the deck slab and the suspension cable which will transport the load from deck slab to the suspension cable that is called as a suspender that is called as suspender which is also called as a supporting cable which is also called as supporting cable next is a suspension cable okay suspension cable this is your suspension cable the set of braided wire that supports the bridge that is called as a suspension cable the next is a pylon or the tower tower like vertical support this is vertical support that usually supports the cables of the suspension bridge or the cable stayed bridge the tower which is like vertical support that usually supports the cables of a suspension bridge or the in case of the cable stayed bridge and last is a stiffening girder okay last is called as a stiffening girder so girder is nothing but the one of the type of the beam but the span is more compared to the beam okay so for giving the stiffness to the pylon we are providing additional member that is called as a girder and that girder is called as a stiffening girder that girder is called as a stiffening girder that girder is called as a stiffening girder so these are the different terms which is used in case of the suspension bridges okay so next that is a structural analysis of your suspension bridge okay structural analysis of the suspension bridge so the main force as i told the main force in case of suspension bridge or in case of suspension cables nothing but the tension because cable is one of the type of tension member which is predominant to carry the tension which is predominant to carry the tension okay so main force in the suspension bridge are the tension in the main cables okay tension in the main cables and compression in the pillar because pillar or vertical element that is called as pylon or the tower these are nothing but acting like a column so column is nothing but the compression member so <clears throat> pillars is also considered as a compression member so main forces in the cable is your tension and in case of pillar or the tower that is vertical support that is carried by the compression okay so it is almost like a same like a column okay from the column is vertically downwards and they are also stabilized by the main cables okay suspension cable okay then in case of the suspended deck bridge okay cables suspended via towers hold the up the road deck this this is your 
रोड डेक वर्टिकल एलिमेंट्स टावर वर्टिकल एलिमेंट्स टावर दिस इज सस्पेंशन केबल एंकरेज केबल ओके सो इन केस ऑफ सस्पेंडेड डेक ब्रिज तो केबल्स सस्पेंडेड वाया टावर्स दिस वर्टिकल इज टावर्स होल्ड द रोड डेक स्लैब रोड डेक स्लैब ओके द वेट इज ट्रांसफर्ड द वेट इज ट्रांसफर्ड बाय द केबल्स केबल्स टू द टावर्स ओके वट एवर द वेट इज दैर दैट विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड बाय द केबल्स टू द टावर्स ओके विच इन टर्न ट्रांसफर द वेट टू द ग्राउंड थ्रू द एंकर केबल बिकॉज हेयर समवेयर वी आर एंकरिंग हेयर समवेयर बिलो द टावर देर इज अ फाउंडेशन सो वट एवर द वेट विच इज बाय द केबल विच इज कैरी दैट विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड थ्रू द पाइल्स सॉरी थ्रू द पिलर्स थ्रू द पिलर्स और थ्रू द पाइलॉन्स ओके टू द फाउंडेशन एंड फाउंडेशन टू द ग्राउंड राइट so most of the weight or the load of the bridges most of the weight or the load of the bridge is transferred by the cables to the anchorage system to the anchorage system okay so these are embedded in either solid rock okay as i told this is a rock or you can consider as a foundation okay or the concrete so these are embedded in either solid rock or the concrete blocks so inside the anchorage the cables are spread over the wider area okay over the wider area over the wider area to evenly distribute the load and prevent the cables from breaking free theek hai ikadcha je side la je tumche anchor cables asel okay so they are spread over the larger or the wider area okay to prevent the cables from breaking free right to prevent the cables from the breaking free so these are the some important points regarding structural analysis of the uh, elements of the suspension bridge okay main is the force which is carried by the cable is tension and the load which is carried by the pillars is compression okay so whatever the load which is carried by the pillars that will be transferred to the foundation right then in case of suspension bridges so whatever the cables are there that is suspended through the towers which will <coughs> hold up the deck slab so whatever the weight which is transferred by the cables to the towers okay and then it will be transferred to the ground so most of the load or the weight of the bridge is transferred by the cables to the anchorage system and then it is to the solid rock or to the concrete block okay and whatever the anchorage or the anchor cables are there that will be spread over the larger area to prevent the breaking of the cables right then what is the structural failure of the suspension bridges okay if you see if you can see these are the cables which is under tension or whichever the cables are there suspension cable or the anchorage cables they are carried by the tension and whatever the towers or the pillars are there they are under in a compression they are under in a compression right so this is again cables under tension whatever the suspension cables are there cables under tension then this anchor cables are under tension this anchor cables are under tension okay anchorage is are under tension and then these pillars are under in a 
compression. Okay, so whatever the load, whatever the load of the cables which is carried, okay, from the deck slab through the suspender, that will be transferred to the pillar, okay, like a compression force, and then it will be transferred to the foundation. Similar way, whatever the tension is there, that will be carried by the pillars, okay, and then it will be transferred to the foundation, right? This is at the end or at the side. The next structural failure. So in case of suspension bridges, some bridges which have in the past suffered from structural failure due to combination of poor design and several weather condition. Okay, because if wind blow is, uh, pressure is maximum or due to the cyclone, etc. due to that also uh, the bridge may be fell. Okay, due to the poor design or due to the severe weather condition. That is nothing but the, it may be cyclone or it may be severe earthquake. So collapse of the bridge also depends upon the phenomena called resonance. Okay, repetitive loading. So it is the phenomena when the body vibrates at its natural frequency and it, it shatters, right? So this is one of the reason for the failure of the bridges. To avoid this type of failure, okay, so we will use the new bridge prototypes which have been tested in the wind tunnel before being constructed. So in the past, if you see through the uh, or you can search then maximum bridges, the special bridges, example is Tokomo Bridge, example is Tokomo Bridge that will uh, collapse due to the heavy wind pressure or heavy wind, right? So nowadays, whatever the bridge prototype is there or the model is there that is tested in the lab, okay, under the wind pressure or in wind tunnel, okay, before being constructed. Okay. So this is regarding just introduction part of your suspension bridges. Wait one minute. One minute. <clears throat> Skin is visible. Right. So these are the main elements. Now we will discuss about the finding out the four tensile force in that particular suspension cables, then shape of cables, etc. So if you see the this suspension cable. This is your deck slab, which is subjected by the load in terms of UDL, that is WKN per meter. Then this is at the end, that is you may call it as tower, okay. Or you can take the span point A and point B, okay. So at this particular point, so this cable is subjected by the tensile force. This cable is subjected by the tensile force, okay. This cable is subjected by the tensile force like this. This is your tension, this is your tension, right? They're subjected by the tension. So if we resolve this tensile force into component, vertical and horizontal, suppose it is inclined, 
T, that is tension which is inclined. So we have to resolve this in horizontal and vertical component. Okay, so W is nothing but the UDL, which is on the deck slab. Okay, and the, these are the suspenders, vertical suspenders, which will carry the loads, right? So now we will find out the reactions, horizontal reaction. So if you refer this diagram, okay. UDL, span is suppose small L is there, right? Small L, W is UDL. So vertical reaction VA, vertical reaction VB, horizontal reaction H, okay. So we will now find out the reactions, vertical and the horizontal reaction, okay. So for equation for the horizontal reaction, taking the moment about point C on the right side, okay. So reaction, vertical reaction, okay, UDL is there, W, span is your L, so it is VL by two, that is nothing but the vertical reaction, by taking summation of FY, okay, now, taking the moment, okay. This is your vertical distance, that is D, that is called as a sag, that is called as a sag, right? Horizontal reaction, horizontal reaction, right? And the UDL is the W span is very L. Okay. So this is your H. So if you consider the right side part, okay. So by taking the moment about this point, so H into D plus W L square by 8 is equal to this is your VA, this is your L by 2. So your L by 2, right? So H into D plus half UDL, right? W L square by 8 is equal to, okay. Ha dhoni kai karna re tumche, ashe moment create karen, H into D as L, and ha UDL sa, and ha opposite direction ni as L, Okay, so it is equal to get equal to W into L by 2, that is nothing but the VA or VB multiplied by the span is L by 2. Right? Multiply by span into L by 2. So H into D plus W square by 2 is equal to W square by 4. So horizontal reaction H we get is equal to WL square by 8 times D, where D is nothing but the sag. Okay, from this up to the distance, that is vertical distance, that is called as a sag, that is small d, right? So after the simplifying, you get horizontal reaction, H is equal to WL square by 8D. Understood? Yes or no? Yeah. All right. So you get the now the vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction. Okay. VAVV vertical reaction and horizontal reaction use your H. Now, after the calculating the reactions, horizontal and vertical reaction, now we will find out the tension in the cable at the end. Okay, tension in the cable at the end. So this is horizontal reaction, vertical reaction is suppose V, B, right? And some point we have taken, that is suppose P point is taken, UDL is W, so T is there. So what will be the tension in the cable at the end? That now we will find out. 
so the cables cable tension capital t at any end is the resultant of vertical and horizontal reaction at the end right me atas kay manlo hota ha tension force hota ache don component hai ek horizontal hai dusra vertical hai mo apan resultant is equal to kay karto square root of summation fx square plus summation of fy square kiwa ma kay asto square root of eh square plus v square बरोबर ना राईट सो ऍट ए ऍट बी टेन्शन ऍट ए अँड ऍट बी इज इक्वल टू टी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेअर रूट ऑफ ए म्हणजे तुमचं व्ही ए आहे आणि हे म्हणजे तुमची एच आहे सो व्ही ए स्क्वेअर प्लस एच एस स्क्वेअर ओके दॅट इज युअर रिझल्टंट दॅट इज नथिंग बट टेन्शन सो आफ्टर सिम्प्लिफाईंग टी इज इक्वल टू ओके सो डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वेअर बाय टू सो डब्ल्यू एल बाय टू ब्रॅकेट स्क्वेअर प्लस याला स्प्लिट केला ब्रॅकेटला ओके तर हे डब्ल्यू स्क्वेअर हे सॉरी एल स्क्वेअर आहे ब्रॅकेटचं स्क्वेअर पण आहे इथे ओके डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वेअर इन टू स्क्वेअर दॅट इज डब्ल्यू स्क्वेअर एल फोर डिवाइड बाय सिक्स्टी फोर डी स्क्वेअर that is the expansion of this bracket plus wl by 2 bracket square so wl by 2 taken common so t is equal to 1 uh, sorry t is equal to wl by 2 square root of 1 plus l square l is the span okay divided by 16 times d square so that is the tension in case of the cable right so t is equal to w l by 2 square root of 1 plus l square by 16 d square that is the value of your tension in the cable right lakshya dala yes yes is horizontal reaction va vertical and t is the resultant as per the diagram so t is we get as a tension in the cable right so as you know the resolution of the forces right so t is the tension at any point p of the cable as you can see in the previous diagram also in this diagram at point p okay this is point p and theta is the inclination of the tangent at p means where wait if you consider this is angle theta okay this angle is your theta right so theta is the inclination of inclination of tangent at p with horizontal considering the equilibrium part of pv so resolving the forces on this part okay at t a horizontal reaction i i suppose theta i i h i जर तुम्ही असा घेतला सॉरी हा टी आहे ऑरिजेंटल एच आहे हा थीटा घेतला तर रिझॉल्युशन एच इज इक्वल टू टी कॉस थीटा ओके सो दिस इज युअर एच इज इक्वल टू टी कॉस थीटा आफ्टर रिझॉल्विंग सो मिनिमम टेन्शन इन द केबल विल ऑकर ॲट सी ओके दॅट इज नथिंग बट टी मिनिमम ॲट सी इज इक्वल टू एच at this point that is c so minimum tension in the cable occur at this point so is nothing but your t minimum that is your h and the maximum tension will be occur at the support or at the ends maximum tension in the cable will occur at the ends where there is a pillars or the support is there or the where is the towers are there 
So this already value we have calculated. T max, that is nothing but square root of h square plus v square. So this is your T max. So beta angle is with respect to vertical. So this is your tension. Okay, this with respect to the vertical, that is beta. Okay, so is equal to h by v. Okay. Beta. So tan beta is equal to samurchi vazu. Bagile lagachi vazu. So opposite side, opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side is your nothing but the horizontal force. Adjacent side is nothing but the V. So tan beta is equal to H by V is equal to by putting the value of H and V, you get tan beta is equal to L upon 4 times D. Right? So these are the values of your horizontal reaction, vertical reaction, then tension in the cable, maximum tension, minimum tension, right? And then the value of the angle beta with respect to vertical. Okay, with respect to the vertical. Understood, all of you? Lakshadana? Yes, sir. Okay. So please write down fast. Many elements. Only write down the names. Write down the names. Uh, J. Pratimesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you can write mobile or laptop or write in Mobile or software. Okay. 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 Next. Draw this diagram. Show the point C somewhere. Vertical distance is your small d and and L. This angle is beta with respect to vertical. Please draw this diagram.
Le agradezco. Yes, sir. And I run this. Equation of horizontal reaction. Taking the moment about C on the right side of C. Or yes, sir. Right. Next cable tension at the end is your beta. Is suppose V B. This angle is theta. W. Please write down the heading and uh, mention. Write down the heading and draw the diagram. Cable tension at the ends. Okay, shall I proceed? No, oh, wait. Yes. Okay. And around tension in the cable, cable tension capital T. That is resultant square root of H S square plus V S square. So you get the value of T. That is tension in the cable. Okay, shall I proceed now? Uh, 
Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. The next. I know this tension at the point P as per the diagram of the cable. Theta is the inclination of the tangent at P. Resulting force, horizontal component, resultant into cos theta. So minimum tension in the cable will occur at point C. That is nothing but H. After resolving at point C, there is tension which is horizontal to the left and uh, horizontal reaction to the right. They are balancing, so they, that's why it is equal. Okay, and at the support, it is maximum. So it is maximum at support. That is nothing but taking the or calculating the result, and that is square root of H square plus V square, you get the maximum value at support. And minimum at the center that is tension towards left and EH is acting towards right if you consider left part or if you consider the right part. So that will be balanced, horizontal will be balanced. At support, it will be maximum. Okay, done. Proceed? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Next. Maximum tension in the cable will occur at the ends. So that value already we have calculated. And beta with respect to vertical, tan beta is H by V. Done? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, okay. So today we will stop here. So remaining part, that is shape of cable, length of cable, then anchor cables, etc. So derivation of this, we will discuss in next class and we will take the numericals on this. Right? So near about it okay. is concept, concept of your two inch or the three inch arch. Okay, two inch or the three inch arch concept is there. Okay, parabolic concept is there. So by using that concept and the applied mechanics knowledge, we will derive some equations or we will derive some formulas and we will take the numericals, right? Okay. I will take attendance. Program is chalo or thana kya attend kara? Yes sir. Kal kare sir anta klo thana? Aaj aayega sir the? Aaj aayega bohti the. Tum chhe senior attend karta hai. The link takle or thana? Okay. Oh sir. The attend karta na photo kara ani group orders taka. So yam take sa group. Okay. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू